Why, hello, fat stringers and low-end lovers. Okay, today we're going to go through the rest of the riff, um, which I played in the Introduction to Harmonics lesson. This is for you, Nikki, and this is for you, Tony, and this is for everybody else that's asked for this lesson. Uh, yeah, I've been meaning to get around to it for some time now. Um, so, here it is. So, if you don't know what this lesson is, there will be a link right there. And that will take you to the introduction to natural harmonics lesson, uh, where we go through this rather lovely riff, which we are going to extend today. So, we're going to do exactly the same thing with this, the thumb and thumb finger thing. Let's go through it again. I've got to try and remember it. I think that was it, yeah? This is what I taught you. Then we went. Yeah, yeah, that bit, that bit, and that's the bit you want to, you want, you wish to learn. Okay, great. So, exactly the same finger positions. Come to the seventh fret, and then our harmonic is going to be over this fifth fret here, the two bars on the fifth fret here, as discussed in the previous lesson. Okay, and all we're doing is we're, we are doubling the, we're pretty much doubling the time. So, um, come down, do exactly the same thing, and then do it again. Okay, so we have. Getting good harmonics at the moment, so I haven't set my bass up properly, but it doesn't matter. So we have the yeah, okay, and then just hit the A string and then just hit the G string. So you play those two together and then you hit the A string and the G string. So just for an example, I'll slow it right down. See that? Makes sense? So uh, quickly it would be. Okay, and one more time. So, we're doing this one tw once, twice, and then just the A and the G. Yeah. Okay, great. And then we're gonna come up to the, up to the ninth fret, the one on the ninth fret. Again, the harmonics that were discussed in the lesson. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing. So we have. So again, we're going to do it twice, and then we're going to hit the A and then the G strings. All right. So we have, watch this, watch this here, watch this hand here. So it goes. Uh, and one more time. So quickly it would be. Yeah. <laughs> How popular. Anyway, and then we're going to come to um, the A string. We're going to do the one on the A string with the two harmonics that sit right there, um, as discussed previously and before. But this one we're going to do, we're going to double the, dur the duration, okay? So this one goes for, if we count, for example, we go one, we count the root, yeah? So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah, and then when we do the next one, we're gonna do that six. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's exactly the same thing again with this hand. So we go bum, 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 A, G. And then we do it again. Yeah, makes sense? Get those harmonics ringing. So, um, all together. Good. Now then, um, there's a fill there, and which is so we have to fit the fill in. I don't know exactly when it comes in. You'll have to listen to the song again. But if I teach you the fill, you should be able to put it in there as you so see fit. But just get this one down first. Get this doing this first, and then and then add the fill in there. Okay. So the fill is basically we come to the uh, seventh fret on the on the on the D string. 
Um, then we do a hammer on, okay, so 7th fret on the D string with our index finger. Um, I'm going to come to the 9th uh, fret on the D string with our ring finger. You can hammer it on, or yeah, I'd, yeah definitely hammer it on. Okay, then I'm going to come to the 7th fret on the D string, like so, right, yeah. So we have, and then we're going to come to the 9th fret on the G string, and then we're going to bend that up. So we have, it's a good feel that you can use anywhere, really. And that's, that's the pace of it. Okay, so we have. It's after, once you hit the, the, the fifth on the A, it comes straight after that. There it is. And then back down to. Just play it slowly. There it is, yes, it's after the fifth one. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And obviously in the fifth one, we go. Um, and I think that, that should cover that. So we start it off nice and well. Why am I not getting, not getting very good harmonics? Hold on. Bit better. Then double it. Do you go do it here? After you've done that string, but you've got to get back there quickly again, which might cause you a problem. But just take it easy and enjoy it, fat stringers, and especially you guys that um, have been asking for this lesson for uh, some time now. Adios, amigos.